Blessing y'all in and produce like it straight to it. <laughs> hey, if y'all new viewing the stream, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. You did. Hit the motherfucking subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Like the video. Because it really does help. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. You did. Let's get straight into it, man. I ain't finna waste no time. Hold on, let me get this from under here. My bad, my bad. I'm comfortable. Fuck y'all. I'm gonna start this <laughs> off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said <laughs> They have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, let's go get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right? As I step out of my pick-em-up truck, I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. <laughs> As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great-grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at. Okay. They okay. bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off. Since when? Man, you go fix your own damn plate. I ain't fixing your plate, boy. The fuck? <laughs> That's weird. You know what I'm saying? That's weird. You fix your own plate. Matter of fact, I would rather you fix your plate because if you fucking die from the food, you know what I'm saying, from eating the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to feed you the wrong thing. You might be allergic to something. Hell, I'm going to fix your plate. Man, you don't get your damn ass, your lazy ass over fix your own damn plate. Hell nah. I'm going to keep it going, though. The fuck? Off like this with barbecue, okay? And I'm gonna eat it. Don't get me wrong, I don't waste food, I'm gonna eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right? They <laughs> say, we wanna get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout, okay? So I ate both of them and I told them that they were just so damn good, both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandma, Mama T, that's what they call her. Mama T. She comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. Back barbecue I'm sauce flexible. on my shirt. Almost got it. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. And she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift <laughs> into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. Whew. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow... I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. Shit. I'm white. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know how to play spades neither. Fuck that shit.
We play go fish and cornhole. Cornhole? I can play go fish. What the fuck is a cornhole? Why nigga that shit sound weird as hell? Somebody tell me what cornhole is. Matter of fact, don't tell me what cornhole is. I'll just keep playing goldfish. Matter of fact, I don't even play goldfish. Fuck y'all. <laughs> All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk. All right. Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So what as the they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Because it's Now, I know that's wrong. Eight books? You know how many books that is? Well, you, you better off saying, man, I probably got about two or four. Two or three, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe, a, maybe four. I know that now. You said eight? Nigga, you got the whole thing in your head. Now. You got the whole thing. You a lucky mother... You know what I'm saying? As soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. <laughs> I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, Hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shit and clue what they talk. I don't know what that is neither, bro. Like, you, you naming a lot of stuff that I don't even know. Wow. This is crazy. Sheesh. Talking about, but I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. <laughs> okay. Now, scary ass. Did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning oh. more toward dominoes. With that would make a little bit more sense. Now I get what he's saying, and you want to throw bones. That that actually kind of makes sense then. Nah, you don't want to do that, though. Mm -mm. I wouldn't even do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't putting my luck into no damn dice. Fuck that shit. Which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay, and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. I just put some more down until I ran out of money, which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. <laughs> now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck Excuse me. to go open it, and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like, I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, whew, I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, Hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. <laughs> the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scare shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Yo, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. Hey, he's smart. Anyways, I, of course you're going to have a fun time, man. 
Cookouts are always fun, man. Black or white. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter the color, man. It's food. Everybody trying to have fun, man. We, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even, it ain't even that time. Now, after the cookout, when all the adults leave, you better take your ass home. I'll tell you that right now. She get the, it get popping at night. He did. <laughs> Anyways, in the producer, man. Y'all send me some more videos. Thanks for all the love and support. I will catch y'all in the next one. I'm out, y'all. Peace.